Welcome to the Arizona Wildcats show brought to you by Fry's Food Stores. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley here with Daniel Burke, DB, Arizona Open Football Practice late Wednesday. Uh, give me some thoughts from, uh, you know, Rich Rodriguez is what, uh, fourth yeah. fall camp. It was my third, you know, covering you because yeah. you had the first year. And I, in my opinion, you know, you look out there and it, it looks like the biggest team in terms of physical strength. Yeah. It looks like the deepest team. It looks like the biggest collection of talent now. Does that equal 10 wins and a, a return, you know, winning the Pac-12 South again? I don't know. But but it was just, to me, it was clear, just like it was in the spring when you look out that, you know, you look at the offense, it's an offense that returns a ton of players and are very comfortable and know the scheme and the ball popped around well. And then you mm -hmm. look at the defense and you see Scooby Wright and Will Parks and um, the line, the linemen, guys that might not even have an impact this year, just look bigger than they have in the past. So that was the biggest thing that jumped out to me. To me... Two, now that these guys who were recruited by Rich Rodriguez show up and now they're upperclassmen, it seems to me that there's not a lot of surprises in terms of the speed and the conditioning needed to run this offense. I think, I think that's a good point, and I think uh, the returning players do a good job in the offseason, in the summer, when they do the conditioning work, to kind of get them ready mm -hmm. and explain to them just how demanding and, and fast these practices are. So you know, none of them are surprised, and then they try to work to make sure that none of the freshmen are surprised. And I thought yesterday, I mean, he, he said they started on time and ended a little early, which I think is the first time I've ever done that on a first practice. Right. So that shows you that the pace really wasn't an issue. Mm -hmm. Guys were into it. I mean, you still saw a little throw up. You still saw some things you don't want to see on a football field, but it, it far better than, than what you'd see in day one the past couple of years. Daniel, give me a couple of names that stood out on, on day one. Well, Man, it was really hard to miss David Richards and Caleb Jones on the outside at receiver. Those two guys just look huge. Um, I don't know if that's good news for the cornerbacks, but they, they won. It seemed like every matchup and were able to haul in the deep ball, and the, the ones that they weren't were probably more on Anu, which, you know, that gets worked out. So those two guys looked really good. Um, you look on the defensive side of the ball, and, and Will Parks and Tellus Jones in the secondary really flying around, and Jamar Ala. I think those are going to be, you know, Ala and Tellus Jones, two guys that fans haven't seen a ton of. They're going to like the way they play. So those were guys that stepped out, uh, that stood out for me. And then, uh, you know, I wrote about them last spring. I've been talking about them to you. Tony Ellison, I, I swear, like the you legend. Love this guy. Well, it's not yeah. me. You know, it's <laughs> every time I go and I ask, hey, who do I need to watch? Everyone, Tony Ellison. So uh, he, he just catches everything thrown his way. He's one of those very technical receivers. Footwork is very good, he's fast. So I think, you know, he, he was a guy that stood out already to me. Absolutely. Freddie Tagaloa, as big in person as I think he is or not? Yeah, the first person in the history of the world to make Fabian Zebley look small. Wow. Uh, Freddie Tagaloa. Because I used to always look at, at Fabo and say, man, that guy's big. But now Freddie walks through and, yeah, just uh, as, as Rich said, he'll be the first one off the bus when they, when they go play road <laughs> games this year. The Arizona Wildcats continue fall camp throughout the rest of the week, and that lasts until what, the week of like August 25th? Yeah, they're going here now for about the next 21, 22 days, and then get in a game week, and away we go. Bring sunblock? Yes. Wear a hat? Yes. Got it? Yes. All right, that'll do it for this episode of the Wildcat Show, brought to you by Fry's Food Stores. For Daniel Burke, how about like a bucket hat? Yeah, I, I don't good. know if I could pull it off. Lifeguard hat. Lifeguard hat. Lifeguard hat. I'm Ryan Finley. We'll see you next time. Try this matchup. Low prices and faster checkout. You can count on it at Fry's.